Happy Friday, everybody. We are back together here with another video, and we're going to be talking about Star Wars here in this video. Star Wars Celebration was in the uh, UK, and they announced a lot of projects, right? Mm hmm. Uh, they announced um, Ahsoka. That's going to be more movies. They're making a Ray movie. My God. No interest in that. But the one thing that's actually, I believe they already finished, is the Acolyte. Which actually, I believe, takes place like 100 years, 150 years before the the prequel trilogy, The Phantom Menace. Okay. Um, let me ask you this. Since you didn't actually grow up with Star Wars, um, who created Star Wars? George Lucas. Yeah, George Lucas. George is a man, right? Yeah. And in the original trilogy, it was mainly focused on who? Luke and Vader, right? Yeah. They were father and son, right? Did you ever have have a problem with um the um uh, the prequels and the uh, original trilogy being focused on the men? No. No. But it seems like a bunch of woke feminists are actually running um Lucasfilm. Kathleen Kennedy tried to push Ray on everybody and you are a woman. What did you actually, what did you actually think of Ray in the sequel trilogy? Um me personally I thought she was the worst character ever in Star Wars. I just not very fond of the character because um I mean she had no struggles. Yeah, she has no struggle, and the training is not... It doesn't seem like it's training. No. I mean, like, when you look at, you know, um, Yoda train Luke, Yeah. you know, it's totally different. Yeah, you know? and here's the thing. Um, from A New Hope to um, Return Jedi, it's like five or six years. Luke got his butt handed to him. The total time span in the sequel trilogy trilogy with Ray, one total year. She had zero training in the first movie. And Luke gave her, quote unquote, two lessons on nothing. And that was it. Mm -hmm. And in the third movie, she was apparently training with uh, Leia. But this is how messed up um, the sequel trilogy was. The second movie is called what? The last Jedi in that trilogy. Mm -hmm. But however, it's such a mess. In the next movie, they contradicted. Because they killed off Luke. They made Leia a Jedi master. She's training uh, Rey. But your whole point was Luke was the last Jedi. But apparently that wasn't the case. Anyway. Let's get back to this uh, new show here. Leslie Hedlund. Let's show female driven show. This is going to be a disaster, I believe. This is the one show. That I will that I believe will be worse than all of them. Because remember the guy that actually said that um, there was no good or bad guys in Star yeah. Wars. Same guy from this show. Same guy. Has he watched any of the Star Wars? Uh, obviously or, not. Obviously is not. Is he a Star Wars fan or something like that? I don't think so. I believe he mentioned the name of Luke and Vader, but that ain't saying much. Everybody knows Luke and Vader. You know, you don't even have to be a Star Wars fan. You're going to know Luke and Vader, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But look at this. Star Wars actress Jodie Turner Smith accuses Star Wars of being very patriarchal. Yeah. At Star Wars Celebration, and we actually do have the clip here. But I actually asked you who created Star Wars, and that would be uh, George Lucas. Mm -hmm. He's a man. Now, for the woke people that don't know this, George Lucas said that Star Wars is about fathers and sons. It's a coming of age story surrounding the Skywalker family, the father and the son. So episodes one through six focus on Anakin Skywalker and the prequels. Growing pains, got married. Um, had personal problems, turns evil, and then his son redeems him in the next trilogy. That was the arc. But what 
Disney is done now. They hate men. We've even seen this in the book of Boba, not book of Boba Fett, but um, the Mandalorian. Din Djarin's getting replaced mm-hmm. by Bo-Katan. I think that's pretty obvious, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's speculation he may actually die in the season finale next week. I don't know. Remember, he he actually got caught by Moff Gideon now, so who knows? But also, Jody, Jody Turner-Smith here. Remember I talked about the... um. The Black Anne Boleyn, she played the Black Anne Boleyn in that um, movie or TV show, whatever it was. Anne Boleyn was not black. Let's go ahead and listen to this clip here. I want you, I want you to give me your take on this. Uh, let's go ahead and play this. Well, let me try to talk about this without getting fired or murdered. <laughs> um, so my- and just for clarification, she was asked about her character. In the show. Character, you know, she's a she's a powerful leader. She's a powerful leader. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, in a very woman-centered world, which I, w- I was very excited to kind of be in that, because I feel like Star Wars is, is very, like, patriarchal, so it was kind of cool to have, like, this sort of woman-centered figure. <laughs> I love to see it. I love to see it. And the crowd is clapping for this. You may not care about this, but. um, Star Wars is built around male characters. Now, the female characters that George Lucas created were great. Mm -hmm. Leia was fantastic. I love Leia. She was a leader. Padme was a queen, right? Mm -hmm. But she felt that it was too patriarchal. So did she actually hate the George Lucas stuff? I mean, this is the problem, man, with this company now. Does she say anything else? And, you know, she's really sort of going through a struggle because, I mean, that's Star Wars, right? Like, we're struggle, going through a struggle. (laughs) She's really kind of like uh, in this sort of quandary and that sort of her journey is, is to kind of go through this struggle between two ideas. Okay. Disney, Star Wars, and women struggling. I don't think that exists. How is women struggling? I, I don't know. I don't know. But she's talking about... You mean to tell me that Disney's actually going to create a female lead? Now, I don't believe she's actually the lead in the show. I believe it's another woman. But still, you think they're actually going to let a woman struggle? I watched that sequel trilogy... There was no women struggling. Rose Wait, is um, Ahsoka um, created by Josh Lucas? Yeah, Ahsoka was created by um, George Lucas for the Clone Wars. Okay, so like she was trained by... Um, Anakin. Anakin, right? Yeah. I like her character. and Ahsoka's great. Yeah. Is she talking about like woman struggle? Is like Ahsoka is trying to? Well, she's talking about her character. I mean, I don't know who her character is. She may be some Jedi in this new show because this show takes place 150 years before the um, the prequel trilogy. Mm-hmm. So it's supposed to be about how the Sith end up infiltrating the Jedi, and the Jedi don't know, which is good in in theory. Very interesting, but I don't believe this is the way they're going to do it. This is going to be one of those, um, oh, slay queen, girl power, um, all the men are bad kind of thing. I don't, I don't have a bad feeling about this, to quote Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. I don't even, you know what? I think the only reason why I may actually watch this, I have no excitement for this, is just to do, do commentary like this. Give a review. And I'm pretty sure, you know, maybe me and Rhodes are probably going to talk about this and we can talk about it here also mm-hmm. on reviewing this show, because I believe in my heart, this is going to be the worst show ever. If you thought Book of Boba Fett was bad, I think this is going to be way worse. I mean, you know, like. um, They couldn't get Obi-Wan right. You know, people who are not 
like Star Wars fan like me, you know, still watch Star Wars and can't figure out what is good and bad, you know. And um, what okay. else? What else? Well, I just feel like they don't. Not only they don't care about the Star Wars fan, but they also don't care about you know the people who watch Star Wars, but they are not Star Wars fan like well, me. You know. Well, the thing is, they're trying. They've been trying to pander to people that. We're never Star Wars fans at all. Well, I'm not a Star Wars fan, but I... Well, I'm talking know. about like they're pandering to woke people. Well, you're not woke. No. They're pandering to woke people that never cared about Star Wars before. And they do stuff like this and it disrespects everything that came before. The reason why people hate the sequel trilogy is because it completely destroyed the arc of um, Anakin and Vader and Luke. Luke was willing to die for his father. Mm -hmm. He threw his lightsaber away. The emperor was killing him. He believed that there was good in his father. But yet, when we get to the sequels, he has a bad dream about his uh, nephew mm -hmm. and then thinks about assassinating him. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And Luke never got off that damn island. Three movies, he never left the island. Even when he was a force ghost, he was on that island. I guess until the end, you know, when he made a force ghost again. Mm -hmm. This is being made by people that don't understand Star Wars. As a hardcore fan like me, I find this stuff to be offensive to George Lucas. You as being more of a passive fan. Mm -hmm. I'm more passionate about it because, you know, I'm a Star Wars fan. But you being more of a passive person just because you were me with Star Wars. When you hear that right there. Star Wars too patriarchal. Yeah, it's just I don't feel like it's patriarchal. I just feel like it's. You know, there's, I mean, I feel like there's a balance between, you know, the man and woman or, you know, it, I mean, I don't feel like the woman are struggling in the Star Wars, like she said. No, no. And actually what Disney has been doing with Star Wars, it definitely hasn't been patriarchal. They've been pushing women, women, women in like everything. Yeah. Sequel trilogy, even Rogue One. The star was a woman. And then you get to um, the Soka show, of course, going to be led by a woman. This show, female driven. What other shows are there? Now, there, of course, you know, Obi-Wan show. They tried to make Reva the star of that. And it backfired. Well, the only thing that I can think of that the women are struggling is the, you know, when... Um, when um, Ahsoka was accused, and then he she left the she left the Jedi Order. Yeah, I love that episode. Yeah, that's the only struggle that you know. Yeah, Ahsoka went with. through trials and tribulations. Yeah, but Ray never did. I, they're not going to let any women struggle in this. I believe they're going to make they're going to blame everything on the men in this show. The men are going to be at fault for everything. I'm willing to bet you. But that's all I got to say about this. You got anything but else you want to add to this? What is interest in this kind of show? I, Women I, have no struggle and stuff and everything is a man's fault. Even though she says she's struggling, I don't believe that for one, one second. Not, I just don't. Not based on Disney Star Wars. I just don't understand like Star Wars is a franchise and... um. Should they like hire someone who know more about Star Wars? And well, as soon as I heard they were hiring Leslie Headland, everybody knew this is exactly what you were going to get. I mean, Star Wars looks like night and day between like if you watch Star Wars Rebels mm -hmm. versus Star Wars Resistance, it's night and day. 
different because Star Wars Res- Resistance was really um, kind of a prequel to the sequel trilogy. And everybody hated it. <laughs> People like Rebels. I like Rebels. So, mm-hmm. But I think that's going to wrap it up, guys. Enjoy the weekend. We'll be back on Monday with another video, right? Yeah. <laughs> Until then, guys, be safe. Goodbye.